Action News reporter Tom Waite live downtown. Tom? And Diana, this really did come out of nowhere. No one expected this. Fritz Henderson was supposed to make the keynote address at the LA Auto Show tomorrow, and now he's gone. A hastily called press conference this afternoon at the Rensen, where GM executives left the press with more questions than answers. Ed Whitaker, GM's chairman, made this brief statement and took no questions. At the monthly meeting today, the General Motors Board of Directors accepted the resignation of Fritz Henderson as director, president, and CEO of the company. Fritz has done a remarkable job leading the company through an unprecedented period of challenge and change, and momentum has been building in our company over the past several months, but we all agreed that some changes needed to be made going forward. Whitaker was installed as GM's chairman after the company emerged from a quick bankruptcy last summer. Fritz Henderson had only been the automaker's CEO for a few months, elevated to the position in March of this year after Rick Wagner was fired by President Obama and his auto task force. Whitaker will now serve as CEO while a search begins for a replacement. This was a board-led decision, which is the way we've been running all along. This was completely by the board and of the board uh, with Fritz. And I did ask Ed Whitaker on his way out of the press conference why. Obviously, that's the huge question on everyone's minds right now. And he said he would not answer that question, saying he would meet with the media in the coming days. As for who is making that keynote address tomorrow at the LA Auto Show for GM, it will be Bob Lutz. Reporting live downtown, Tom Way, Channel 7 Action News, Stephen and Diana, back to you. All right, thank you very much. The very latest on this breaking story, Tom. Well, Dave, we are coming to you live from outside the AJ's Assembly Line concert. That's the concert where they have the marathon of performers. But huge news, GM CEO Rick Wagner has been asked to resign by the White House because of a number of issues. These sources tell us, again, sources tell us that GM CEO Rick Wagner has been asked to resign effective immediately and was asked to do so by the White House. And this comes less than 24 hours before the the huge announcement tomorrow where the president and the auto task force are set to lay out all of the recommendations they are going to make for GM and Chrysler. And Tom, what do you know? Well, Carolyn and Robbie, major breaking news we've just gotten in the past few minutes. I'm going to read you this email I just received from Carl Levin's office. They say they've reached a deal on a bipartisan agreement on the auto bailout. Levin, that's Carl Levin, Bond, Kit Bond from Missouri, and Debbie Stabenow, of course, from Michigan, and also George Voinovich from Ohio. These are the, uh, the senators who have worked on a bipartisan agreement. There is no details yet on the agreement or when it will be voted on they're going to have a press conference this afternoon at 2 30 to discuss all the details but obviously these are huge developments that a bipartisan agreement between the senators have been reached well, hi there, Dave and Diana. Yes, some very huge developments in just the past few minutes on Capitol Hill and some very good news if you're a supporter of these auto loans. Two major pieces of information to report to you. First of all, Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House, has ordered the Sergeant of Arms on Capitol Hill to order House members back to session on Tuesday to consider what she's calling legislative business. Well, let's put two and two together here. That probably means they will be considering the auto loan legislation. Also, new tonight, and in just the past few minutes, we found out that Democrats and the White House are quietly exploring a possible compromise to allow a loans for the auto industry. What we're being told is that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi spoke with White House Chief of Staff Josh Bolton during the day, but there has been no elaborations on the details of their discussions. As you see there, the big three leaders once again going before the House Financial Services Committee, holding up well under fire.